Okay, so today I'll show you how I make my zooms and I'll also try to explain how we can adjust all of the values so you get the speeds you want. And then we're gonna add some blur and I'll show show some methods for hiding the motions a little bit more. So let's start by just adding S blur mode curves. I have this preset with wrap X and Y on reflect and 0.5 shutter duration. This is just the the blur you get with the movements. It's it's decent I guess, but decrease it from one at least, because one is way too much. Then we're gonna animate the C distance. And I'll just do a zoom out at the start so we have some movement before the first transition. So I'll make a keyframe here and then the one at the start we're gonna put to 0 0.4 and just put a fast fade on this. So now we have some movement. You should make these zoom out pretty slow because it'll give more movement and you don't have to hide any motion tile anyway, so it's fine. Then we're gonna do a zoom in after this. So I'm adding another blur mode curve. Then go halfway here and then go about three to five frames forward. I'm doing three frames and put this to 0 0.4. If you do four frames instead or five frames, it'll just make the beginning slower and end faster. So if that fits your style, then go ahead and do it. For the edit at the start, I just use three frames. So we have keyframe with 1, then 0 0.8 and 0 0.4. Just put this one at the last key, at the last frame of the clip. You can see if I go one frame forward now, it'll go to the second clip. So this is the last frame you'll see. Then go two frames back from here and put this keyframe over here. You can also do like three or four frames, then you'll, then it'll be slower or it actually depends but it'll look different so you can at least try and yeah if it looks the way you want then make it that way but now we have something like this instead then for the second clip we're just gonna add blur mo curves again animate it i'll go three frames forward here also Put this one over here then we're gonna do 2.5 here on the zoom out uh, a zoom out of 2.5 will move the same distance as a zoom in of 0 0.4 because you can see if i if i just put another blur mode curve on on here on top of it and then zoom in 0 0.4 it'll reset the the zoom to normal so yeah, that's why I'm using 2.5 here. Then we're gonna add a keyframe here. So we do do it the same way like we did on the first clip. And drag this one to the end. So we have two frame distance here and just put fast fades here. Now you can see a lot of motion tile because Shutter duration doesn't hide it all. Hide it at all. Then, then we're gonna add some blur motion on top, so we get a proper blur. I'll just add the default, so you can see everything that's going on. So put the two C dist to one, and then we're gonna animate this one from C distance. Go three frames forward like we did for the zoom. We're just gonna match match up the blur keyframes with the zoom keyframes. And put this to like to whatever you like. If you put it lower then you'll get a you'll get more blur. So just just change the settings until you like them. And then make a keyframe here. Align all of these up and put fast fades on them. 
but you can see this still shows a lot of motion toil so one way to get rid of it would be to add another blur mode curve on top zoom this whole thing in to like 0.7 and this is this is great if you want to change the direction of the zoom like make it go to to the side and you'd, you'd also have to change it for the blur obviously oops if you're doing something like that but if you're just doing straight zooms and don't and yeah this this way could decrease the quality a bit because you're zooming zooming it in quite a lot so another way to do it would be to uh, I'm just gonna change all of these values so 1.75 then 1.05 and 0.7 so this would be give the same result but then if you change the center it all mess up the the transition you put after it like if you do do a straight zoom after this it all go to the top right or something depending on the the direction you put here you can see the final position also changes so it won't be centered and that's why why something like that would happen but for a straight zoom this is technically better so for the sake of the tutorial I'll, I'll just do it this way but that other method would be better if you're changing the, the directions of the zooms then for the zoom out just add another blur mode curves again and put it underneath the, the zoom in because we have it at 0 0.7 and then, then we can hide the motion tile at the start a bit better So yeah, let's just go here and then make a keyframe in the middle like we did earlier. Three frames forward. Put this to 2.5 and then one with 1.5. Just put this here, two frames back. This is almost the exact same, exact same thing. And also for the blur, we're just gonna add blur motion again to hide this and 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 and line them up like before and you can see that this zoom in is helping a lot for the zoom out also after if, it, if we put it above then then you'll, then you'll get this instead, which looks really bad. But you can do the same thing for if you're doing double zoom out. You could put this to 0 0.7, like 0 0.7, 1.05, and then 1.75. Same values that we used here. So then you can hide the motion tile in the start if you're doing double zoom outs right now it isn't necessary then we did a zoom out earlier but yeah so it doesn't confuse anyone i'll just do it again so we have one here and then just 0 0.4 and a fast fade and then we're done very simple let's just pre-render this a bit laggy but yeah you can see same ones that I used at the start but yeah that's everything thanks for watching and yeah bye